Great. So thank you everybody for our meetings virtual and we've got a, a quorum. Um so and um Eimear, we're just gonna record Gary's apologies. Um uh, Morris offered Gary's apologies. So if we could just have that um and just to remind everyone that um just the usual procedures with Star Leaf if you indicate or you know we'll try and bring you in. Um and you you haven't received any other apologies, Emer? I have not, no. Okay, so today's agenda includes a briefing from legal services on the half nine deadline for nominating a proxy vote. And the our committee will also review its strategic planning. So the purpose is that we propose that the committee moves to close session at the end of the meeting to receive a briefing from legal services to consider the strategic plan. So is that okay? We get agreement to move into closed sessions as, as we've done previously. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Excellent. And um, thank you for that. So um, the draft minutes um, of the 3rd of February are on page five. Um, are you all content to agree, agree the minutes of the 3rd of February? Great. Agreed. Good stuff. Great. Um, and in terms of matters arising, at page 11 of the report, there's an update from the Head of Communications on Procurement of Equipment. I'm sure you've seen the big screens in the, the chamber. They've done a really good job. Um, and the testing of the screens in the system has already commenced this week. Um, and hopefully it will go well so we can roll out the hybrid proceedings when that's expected to happen next week. So our members content to note this? Yeah. Yeah. Agree. Sound brilliant. So, at page 12 of our pack is a response from HR on the definition of long term illness. Um, you will remember that the committee agreed to write to HR and ask whether there was a definition of long term illness to make sure that it was consistent with good and um, terms and conditions um, and what's currently in use. So, as part of that consideration of introducing proxy voting on a more permanent basis, HR has confirmed that long term illness and sickness absence is defined as 28 calendar days or more. And the exact, or sorry, the extract from the Assembly's HR managing attendance policy regarding long term illness is on our PACs at page 13. So he's content to note this response. Yeah. Yeah, happy to do so. Okay. No, thank you for that. There seems to be a bit of a lag, so just bear with me. Um, I mean, the purpose of it was we wanted to make sure that everybody's terms and conditions were consistent. So that's that seems to be the case. There's no further correspondence to consider, Emer. I haven't received any of you. Um, not for this meeting. Uh, recent no. correspondence will go to next. Okay, sound. That's great. So our, for, our forward work program is that we will consider which options we wish to take forward at our strategic planning session at the end of this meeting, which will then inform the, the work of our committee next week um, or in the two weeks ahead. There's no chairperson's business. Do members have any other uh, or any items under any other business that they want to raise? Chair, could I just ask, um, I know there were there was testing done. I know there is an update there from Susie and the hybrid proceedings. Have we any other yeah. update on how that testing went? No, but it's a good point, Sinead. Um, Amir, can we just get a bit of feedback on that? Yes, certainly. Um, I will ask. I know just from colleagues, they've been testing it in the afternoons the last couple of days, and it seems to be ongoing, but I will ask from the committee. Um, Paul is in the audience and has offered to come in now with an update who's been involved in that testing, if that's all right. Great. That would be brilliant. Are you there, Paul? Yep, uh, I see that's me being brought into the spotlight now. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, it was just to let you know, we did a full day, uh, full afternoon of testing on Monday, and then we did a further session yesterday afternoon with speaker and deputy speakers, and we're really pleased with how it's gone. It seems to be working very smoothly. Um, 
speaker is going to gather together whips on Friday and do a further session with them. But his hope is that if that all goes well, he'll be writing out to all members on Friday afternoon, setting out the arrangements for virtual participation and that those can take effect uh, from next Monday onwards. Excellent. Sinead, are you happy with that? Appreciate that, Chair. Thank you, Paul. That's very helpful because I did see the monitors there. And I have to say, um, I was a bit apprehensive whether they would be really... Um, you know, imposing in the room, but they're, they're not. I think they're, given their size and scale, it's very well done. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Paul, thank you. Is there any other members, any questions or queries? No, but Chair, I think, uh, you know, uh, I went into the chamber on Tuesday there and, and it was in for a while before I actually realised they were up on the... On yeah. The, so they, they are fitting in nice and neat into the chamber, given the size and all that they are. So, uh, you know, yeah. the have done a good job here. I have done a good job, Tom. I was the same. It took me a while to click on that over there. So, Paul, if you, you and Emer could pass on our appreciation um, and our thanks to Susie for the update and indeed for yourself for the update. Um, okay, so what we'll do now is, um, if everybody's agreed, we'll move into closed session to discuss our strategic plan. Can I get agreement on that? Okay. No standing for it. Because happy days. So I just want to give broadcast a minute to let the order get into closed session. Twenty nine. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room Twenty Nine. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly.